I'd like to show you the most bananas, ridiculous thing I have going on right now. Amazon has told me that this shower head will get me a hot shower. I have my van winterized, so I don't have any water to take an actual shower in here. I've been going to the gym, but I wanted to try this out. So supposedly, it's gonna give me a hot shower. Do we believe that? Take a look. So far, I have <laughs> this ridiculous setup. It says the water is 20 degrees. Okay, that's not warm. We're not taking a shower in 20 degrees water, which, oh, that's Celsius. I need to, oh man, I need to do the whole Fahrenheit conversion. Oh! <laughs> and that is the shower head that apparently fell off the wall. To be continued. Okay, what you missed is I took this thing out of the water, or this thing fell off, or something happened, and it started spurting water everywhere. Luckily we're in the shower, so I only got like a drip of it on the floor, but I've wasted a quarter of my shower water. Well, duh moment. I don't need to use their stupid shower hook. I already have a shower hook in here. So we've done that. I'm gonna figure out what 19 degrees Celsius is, and then I gotta commit to this. Like, I gotta get in here and I gotta commit. Life is beating me today. It is still 19. I'm standing here now naked, really wanting a shower because I could potentially take one and debating if I take a 66 degree shower. I don't, I mean, it's been in here for a long time and it hasn't gotten any better than 19 degrees. Recommended shower temps are 98 degrees Fahrenheit. It's now been about, I don't know, 10 minutes that I've had this thing running and it's still 19 degrees Celsius. I don't think I need to shower that bad. I think I just might wash my face tonight and shower tomorrow. Oh my gosh, but I can't even shower in the morning. I have to shower like later in the afternoon. So I didn't shower yesterday either. Um, yeah, hashtag van life. It's making some kind of weird noise now. I don't know what's happening. Is the motor slowing down? Why did I think that Amazon could make a product that could make give me a hot shower that costs $45 that you stick in a bucket of water. I mean, that was my bad. Okay, as I sit here and contemplate this madness, I might take a 66 degree shower. I mean, you know, cold things, Wim Hof and all that, right? Should I do it? I'm going to get in there and I'm going to get two seconds into it. I'm going to regret it deeply. And I'm not even going to have enough water to do a full shower. <sighs> what should I do? Should I shower? Yes or no? I'm in here and I'm gonna embrace hashtag van life and I'm gonna take a cold shower. All right, guys, it's now or never. Oh my gosh, should I do it? This is gonna suck so bad, but I really wanna shower. 19 degrees. All right, here we go. Ready? Oh, I don't wanna press the button. I don't wanna... Oh my God, it's freaking cold. Oh my God. Oh wow, it went up to 20. Ah, so cold, so cold. Oh my gosh, oh, oh, that's freaking cold. Ah, oh my God, woohoo. Ah, I hate it, I hate it. Why is it not working? Oh no, stop, I need to finish my shower. Oh no, I'm out of water. not fun. I don't like it. So would I recommend this shower solution to anybody? The answer is I am sending it back to the hell from where it came. And I mean, look at even this guy here, he's turned his back on Amazon and their stupid shower system. Because not only am I have I used a whole gallon of water, I probably would have needed at least three to take a full shower. It was cold. And I'm a, and let me just show you. It's a wet bath, which means it's a shower and it's a toilet. And so I have to now wipe down everything that got wet from the shower, which is fine when I get an actual proper shower. But since I did not get a proper shower, it's just annoying.